Hey everyone, my name is Sculpted Shot, and today is February 27th, 2012. And here's a Modern Warfare 3 gameplay that I have. I think it's a 42 and 4 demolition game that I have. So, the topic that I want to talk about today, and it should last the whole commentary, is uh, something you guys probably heard of, and it's the the Chardon High School shooting that went on today. So, uh, I don't know. You guys will probably be able to learn some, you know, maybe different information. And, um, you know, I want to kind of tell you guys, you know, my view and perspective of what happened, what I think about it. Uh, I don't know where, what I was doing when it happened and just lessons you can probably learn from this. So the the really, the really big thing about this is that Chardon High School is located only 20 minutes away from where my school is. And <clears throat> it, it happened this morning at 7.45 a.m., I guess, is what, is what it's happened, what is what happened, or when it happened, and... At the time, I was actually in my biology class, and we were playing a review game. We were, we were actually playing Jeopardy and getting uh, ready for our test the next day. And uh, it was about like eight eight o'clock ish when on the uh, the PA system um, there was an announcement made to all the teachers that said to uh, secure your room. And you know it wasn't a lockdown because if it's a lockdown. Everyone, you know, you have to like go to like you know one specific corner of the room. It was just you know make sure you guys uh, stay safe and you know be on the alert or whatever, basically. So you know my teachers went and shut the door. Didn't really think it was much of a big deal. Maybe there's just like a drug search or something. Um, and then my friend who well like in the in the Jeopardy game, you know you answer the questions, you get points, and he was actually the scorekeeper. And he was sitting in the back and he was doing the scorekeeper whatever. And then uh, his dad texted him and told him that there was a shooting over at Chardon High School. And uh, uh, he told my teacher, and he's like, you know, he told him that, you know, there's a shooting. And he's like, well, how do you know? He's kind of like joking. And he's like, oh, my dad texted me. He's like, oh, and he didn't really believe him, but he was on his laptop. So he went up. You know, his, his face got, like, really just kind of, like, pale. He was like, oh, my God. Like, you know, he got, like, really serious. And, you know, it wasn't really too – my teacher wasn't really too comfortable with this. And, uh, you know, yeah, he confirmed it to us so that, you know, it is true that there's a thing. He said, don't worry, you know, we're safe here. And, um, I don't know, I didn't really get, well, I do understand why people would be freaking out because it was only about 20 minutes away from where I go to school at. You know, so people were, they, they were pretty worried. They were really scared that the shooter would come over here. And, you know, I knew that wasn't going to happen. But, you know, I do understand why they'd be, you know, kind of scared f for that. So, and then, uh. So yeah, my teacher said that, and then, you know, after we were done with uh, that, we weren't allowed to leave our classes, so we just kind of sat there, and, you know, he let us go on our on our phones and whatnot. You know, we all kind of, like, chatted and talked about it, and the really scary thing and that had people uh, freaking out was that, well, first of all, then it's a shooting, but that high school is really close to where we live, um, and, you know, we have a lot of friends over there. I Thankfully, I don't have, I only have, like, I, I don't even think I know, like, many people over there. I think I know, like, three people from Chardon. Um, but a lot of a lot of people know more people, and actually a few of the victims that died today uh, were friends of some people in my school, and you know it was kind of really sad seeing them walking in the hallways crying and leaving the school because of what happened. So yeah, you know we're sitting in my class for like uh, I don't know until like nine nine ish, and then then we went to our next period of class eventually, and you know we the rumor was that we were gonna get let out early, but we didn't. So, uh, but yeah, we went to the next class. Uh, we didn't really do much in that class. Then I had study hall, and we sat on the computer and watched the news on it. And uh, the rest of the day was basically just kind of like somber. It was kind of like you know quiet. Um, you know, th there was a few work. Or some teachers actually did make you do work, but other than that, most of them just kind of like just kind of talked about it. And um, so yeah, that's basically what happened when I was uh, when I was there and when. I learned about it, and, you know, I, I don't know, I kind of felt, like, kind of, like, disbelief, because, like, out of all the places, you don't think that this would happen in, uh, just, like, Geauga County, you know, kind of like the middle of nowhere, I mean, we have Amish people over here, I mean, you wouldn't think of that, you think of a school short shooting to be more like, uh, I don't know, like, an urban area, but that's, actually, most times, that's actually not the case, but, um, anyways, the next thing I want to talk about is, uh, the fact that, you know, this person that did this, and, the the kid who did this apparently there's there's so many stories that I've heard and throughout the whole day I probably heard a hundred different stories from people about what happened and you know people saying that there was like four people who were actually shooting people and you know there's only actually only one 
there's so many different things that uh, people were saying. But, uh, you know, the only things I really did trust was actually the news, and I was reading that on my phone. And uh, oh, I did read this about the victim, or about the person, because I heard this from one of my classmates who actually knew the uh, the shooter. And that was that last night on Twitter, he, he uh, posted about shooting at the school. And I don't know if, the pic- if he uh, put these pictures up at that time or before it, but he said that, or he posted some pictures of him with uh, two guns, like, pointing at the camera. Then he had, uh, I think he had a picture of him with a knife, another picture, I forget what that picture had. And then one more picture that had, uh, it said, two, t- or, yeah, two twenty six twelve Chardon High School Massacre, I think. And then it said, like, it said Omegle, and I don't know why. But pe- everyone, a lot of people from Chardon who kind of know this kid, they all saw it, and no one did a thing. And... That's the thing that really gets me kind of like uh, going about this is just because people, you know, they saw this and they didn't, they didn't care, they didn't believe them, and that that's why in this world you gotta, you really have to believe, you know, or you have to kind of believe some of the things that you uh, see, even if they are pretty extreme. I mean, yeah, if someone says they're gonna blow up the school, no one's gonna believe them, but it could happen, and you, uh, I'm just telling you guys right now, if you guys ever see that, I want you guys should definitely should definitely, you know, tell someone, tell an adult, tell the police, call the police, tell your principal, anything, because, you know, you don't want this happening to you, your friends, or your school. Um, And, yeah, the the kid said that, no one, no one cared, no one cared what he had to say. Now, there's people that I know from my school, and everyone is, like, you know, really, you know, talking about this and talking about him, but there's people saying that they feel bad for the kid and that they feel, you know, they kind of feel like they understand and like you know, these these kids that I'm saying that they think that they understand, they really don't understand because, well, if even if this kid was bullied, because these people were saying like if the kid was bullied, you know, I don't blame them for shooting at the school. Just tell me it, at any point in life, if you're even if you're being bullied, is it ever is it ever right to take someone's life? I I, I don't think so. And these people, I I told them this on you know their Facebooks, you know, kind of like sort of arguing with them. Okay, well, say the shooter comes up to you and shoots you because, you know, maybe he was bullied by someone, If even if it wasn't you. Uh, what would you say? Would you say, oh, yeah, he's bullied. I, I, I feel his pain. No, you'd be pissed off at him. I mean, you'd, you'd tell him that you want him to go live in a jail cell with Jerry Sandusky. That's the thing that I really hate is that these people think that this guy, you know, they feel bad for him that, you know, he had, like, a bad life. No, I mean, you, you can, even if, like, a whole bunch of kids in your school hate you, there's ways that you can talk to people and you can get help. You can, you, obviously your teachers aren't going to hate you. I mean, they may, like, act like they hate you, but they're not going to just hate you and not talk to you. You can talk to your teacher and say, I'm having these thoughts, or, I don't know, I want some help. You can talk to maybe your parents. I don't know if his parents were nice to him or not. You can talk to the police. You can talk to anyone in this world, and they will help you out. And, uh... I don't know, it kind of goes both ways because this could have been prevented, but um, it is true that, you know, people who were bullying him, apparently, uh, you know, it's kind of their fault too, I guess, but not all the time because there's a there's so much bullying that goes on in this world. Just, you know, not all of it can be taken seriously, I guess. Um, now, also, there's a, you know, there's a whole bunch of different stories about this kid that, well, first off, the shooting took place in the cafeteria, Throughout the day, I heard so many reports that it took place uh, in like a bus waiting area outside the school. I don't think that's true because uh, the teacher actually, you know, pulled the student back into his classroom when he was bleeding on the floor. So I don't think he was waiting for a bus, and he was in the cafeteria. There's also other reports that he did it because, uh, well, actually, he targeted the victims because uh, apparently one of the kids like stole his girlfriend, or is dating his ex-girlfriend, and he got mad at him. Uh, there's also other reports, reports that he did like some kind of drug deal with some with one of the kids and like the, I don't know the drugs that he gave him were fake or something and that he got mad at him. I don't know. You you, know, you can't really believe everything that you get told. But um, you know regardless, you know this is all this all shouldn't have happened and you know it is really tragic and it has really affected pretty much everyone that I know in this community. Everyone has been talking about it. You know it really is crazy and. Uh, you know, one more thing I want to say is that if anything tragic like this ever happens and you have different people telling you different stories, don't believe them because I got so many different stories today about who died and who didn't die and how many victims, how many shooters. You, you, you can never 
you know, be too sure until you actually have like a news source. There's people that say that the news is fake or is not not fake, but it's inaccurate. Well, no, because you know all their facts come straight for the police, and I'm sure the police can uh, kind of get what's going on and they'll give you the right information and whatnot. So, but yeah, I do hope that uh, anyone involved uh, is able to make a comeback. I actually, I, I sort of did know two of the people, but uh, more of my friends kind of knew them more than me because two of them I played baseball against, and they, their team that they played for, they were actually a bunch of dicks, and their team was just absolutely horrible. They were like the worst, worst sportsman-like team I've ever played against. It was pretty sad. I don't know, not pretty sad. It was pretty, pretty freaking horrible. Um, and yeah, apparently one of the kids that we played against, he's actually paralyzed, so... I don't know, that's kind of bad for him, for him, but I was thinking about this because I was kind of trying to link this together on why this may have happened, and if this did happen because of bullying, and it's and he did target specific victims, I wouldn't, I would bet that that kid who I played baseball against, and it was a, a total dick, I mean, I'm not to be rude because he is paralyzed, but, um, you know, I, I, I do see, I could see him, you know, maybe being a bully in his school, and maybe bullying him, who knows? But uh, I just want to say thank you guys for listening to this. Uh, you know, this is really tragic, and, you know, you guys can learn more about this. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you guys later.